Hey guys, what's up? This Mad Taco. I want to apologize in advance for the mic being ridiculously loud. I'm recording through a webcam. And today I'm going to be bringing you something a little special. I have just received in the mail my new GTX 570. Oh god, it's so awesome. And as a bonus, my new power supply. Because I plan to SLI these babies later. Pretty sweet, huh? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set up the little little webcam like so. That right uh, Oh that right there ought to do it. Uh, maybe actually let's go down here. Get to ground level. There we go. Yeah, see, this is my this is my den. You like it? My guitars, all right. Yeah, my crappy little amp. All right, grab my trusty knife, yeah. Now this is a knife. Now I've, I've had this thing for like ten years. It's freaking awful. Anyway, I'm gonna unwrap this baby. This beautiful. GTX 570, brand new from EVGA. It is so awesome. I'm going to be replacing my uh, dual 8800 GT setup with this thing. So, if I can get my knife inserted properly into the box here, we can get started. There we go. Nice clean cut. Oh, oh, you gotta take off the wrapping first. Don't want none of that. Alright, alright. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. I ripped the box. Oh, man, that's heartbreaking. What the hell am I doing? I'll get over it. Anyway, uh, got this sweet, uh, manual sweet uh, CD and look you got this amazing case badge check it out see look it's even it's like kinda kinda bumpy see awesome right you got uh, what the hell is this some kinda board game no not a board game it's a big ass poster Come on. Come on, poster. There we go. Oh, oh, no. Hell, I'm going to rip this damn poster. Damn thing. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, you got the, uh, got a poster. EVGA Gaming. Pretty, uh, diabolical. I do say so myself. Attention. See? Please allow the graphics card to cool for a minimum of two minutes after operation before removing it from your system. To hell with that. You got cables. Pretty sweet. Got some cables. And uh, there she is. Brand new, there we go, GTX 570. This thing is huge. You look at this compared to the size of my hand. It's huge. Now, be sure to discharge any static electricity from my body so I don't fry the thing. Open her up real nice and gentle. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. It's so... Come on. Come on. Oh, God. It's so heavy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. See? It's got DVI ports, HDMI port, right there. There you got your HDMI. It's, uh, it's big. Freaking huge. So, yeah, I'm going to pop this sucker in and bring you guys some awesome gameplay of stuff. I know you're looking forward to that, yeah? 
not just System Shock 2 either. I think my current setup can handle that no problem. All right, as a bonus, we got this. The Corsair HX850. Because I need more power. Right now I'm running a Corsair 520. And it's doing fine. It's running uh, it's running my dual 8800 GTs and no problem. But minimum requirements on the uh, 570 is a 550 watt supply. And I think that my 520 could do it, but I plan to SLI these things at some point in the future. So I'm just gonna. I just decided to go ahead and upgrade now. You got your sweet uh, user's manual, nice and thick. Feels professionally made. I like it. Um, most badass foam block I've ever seen. Look at this thing. I mean, look at this thing. Oh god, the smell. Jesus Christ, that smells good. And the best part. God, it's so big. Oh. Ugh. They pack these babies in velvet bags. That's right, velvet bags. When you buy Corsair, you are buying the best. You know you're buying the best because it comes in a velvet bag. Can't wait to put stuff in this bag. See? Along with my uh, velvet bag that I bought, it also came with this power supply. Get it out of its plastic sheath here. Look at that big ass fan. It's ready to cool off anything. It's modular, of course, so you can decide what you want to plug in. Got all sorts of plugins there, so no worries about that. Damn, it's even got it's got four eight pin PCI Express connectors. That's badass. Or at least I think that's what that is. Truth be told, I don't even know if 8-pin PCI Express connectors exist. I know 6-pins do. I got four of those. Anyway, let's uh, zoom out a bit here. Show you what's going into. This here is my old rig. This case I've had for ages. As you can see by uh, my lovely hole saw work here, this 120 millimeter fan doesn't have a, a grill on it. I'm retarded. Yeah, I'm gonna clean her up real good. That's an uh, EVGA 780i board that you see there. And yeah, that's a crack in the case because I've been really rough on this thing. Um, I'm running four gigs of uh, Corsair DDR2 800. I forget what I have an overclock to right now. Doesn't matter. The uh, CPU you see there behind the Zalman CNPS 9500 green green glowing thing. That's an Intel E8400. Right now I've just got it at stock clocks. But once I throw this card in here with a new power supply, I'm going to see what I can push her to. Um, might be kind of hard to see, but those are my dual 8800 GTs I have in there right now. There is a little, uh, yeah, that vertical cooler you see there. That's a little bit of a setup that I did. One day I took a die grinder and cut out part of the case on the back there. And I mounted this to kind of pull air away. I like to do stuff like that. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I will very soon wrap up the System Shock 2 wrench only playthrough. That's right, I have the original CD. I cherish this thing so much that uh, I really can't express it live on video, but regardless, this thing is my baby. Um, I'm playing on this 32 inch Sony Bravia. It's awesome. Uh, that's my Logitech Z5500 set right there. Pretty awesome. Uh, here's my, yeah, there's my uh, toilet paper, or not toilet paper, but paper towel roll that I used to prop up the speaker because I broke it a while back. Uh, there's my Logitech G, uh, G15. G15. Showing the time right now. Pretty awesome. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to install this stuff. Bye.